G'day guys, Peter from Team Low Range 4x4 here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a 12 month review of my ARB Solar Spotlights. What do I really think of them, and are they worth the money? Let's get into it. Okay guys, the general overview of the lights, how have they held up over the past 12 months? So on the front here, you've got a UV protective lens cover that also protects against bugs and rocks and all those kinds of things. But underneath, let's have a look how it's held up. So I'm gonna remove the cover here and let's have a look here. Look at that. The lens cover looks like it's brand new. If you replace this thing with a brand new clear cover, see how it's got a bit of a yellow tinge to it? Then you would know that this was a 12 month old light, except for of course the a bit of splatter from the mud and bog holes that I've been driving through here. Now the biggest thing I've been worried about is this thing here. These little metal accessories that go on each side, they normally come with one on each side red of course because that's ARB's thing. Uh, I would have thought that it was going to go a bit pink or you know fade in some way or shape or form. Not the case. It really looks like it's held up really well over the last 12 months to the point where it's still a bright red and that's really fantastic. But of course, if you don't like this red accessory, you've got a couple of bolts here that you unloosen and then you can replace it with a black one like I've got on this side. Therefore, it might fit more with the aesthetics of your four wheel drive. But the lens cover itself, as you can see probably on the other side, you can replace these. And the next part I wanna talk about is this. This is the mechanism for tilting your light back and forward. You can adjust it. There's one on each side, so four bolts all up. Now, look at this. I'm really shaking that and it's not moving at all. And that's fantastic because I've seen with other brands, like one of the lights my mate's running, this stuff is just floppy, it's just rubbish. This bracket is really solid, fantastic. It's all metal, absolutely great. And if you're wondering about, hey, is my light gonna sag over time? Well, in the past 12 months, and even right now as I really vibrate it, it's not moving a budge. So I'm really happy with the bracket system that ARB have come up with the lights. I know that it's not gonna shift on me, especially when I'm doing some off-road, you know, wonderfulness. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanna say about the general overview of these lights. Now I will point out, these are both floodlights. They're not spotlights, they're both floodlights. And I said that in my previous ARB Solus video. Now you might be wondering a little bit about this combo I'm running here, one amber, one actual clear cover. And does that actually work? No, as you can see here in this footage, I tried this combo thinking I might get the best of both worlds, but the clear cover clearly outshines the amber and that's because it's obviously suppressing more light. So what is the point of the amber cover at all? So I'm running amber covers, I normally run to, as you'll see here, and the point is this, when you're driving through fog, low clouds, so to speak, usually between spring and autumn here in Australia, you get a lot of fog, especially on my commute near the East Coast. And the idea is that a white light is going to absolutely reflect off that fog slash cloud. And basically it can blind you and you, can, you can't really distinguish the white lines and markers on the road. So the idea between using, or the idea for using an amber or even that blue lens cover, which I haven't tried yet, by the way, comment below if you want me to go and dive in and get the blue version of these lens covers and I'll do a separate video on that if you want to see it. The more people that comment blue or blue covers, I will, you know, look into doing that video. But getting back to the amber one, um, it seems to work here as you can see by this footage. I, I think it does make a difference um, and therefore I will be running those generally between, you know, as I said, spring and autumn when there's most likely to encounter those conditions. Now for off-road use, I haven't had an opportunity just to go into the bush with these, but I would suggest just using the clear ones personally. So that makes me want to talk a little bit about what are these like in the bush? And this is the problem I think I've got with these lights. And that is the overall output of these lights. So 
when I bought them, I bought them because of their little functionality that I mentioned in my previous video, which is a dimmable switch. And I understand why AOB have done this. When I've driven down, as you will see in this footage here, a highway, you know, with all the reflections, all the signs and stuff like that, spotlights, floodlights, as I've got on here, they are way too bright. The, the reflection is just, you know, in your eyes. You might not be able to see it 100% in this video, but they do reflect hard. And that's what the dimmable function does. It minimizes the reflection while still giving you an overall extra bit of light, which is, you know, fantastic. That's obviously what you want. Now in the bush, I don't think, I think they're adequate. I think they're just enough. There's just a, so much shadow, so much, I don't know, I, I want them to be brighter. I just want them to be brighter. Now I think AFB have thought about this. And the reason why I say that is there are a lot of images with the solar spotlights with a bar light up the top for the additional lighting. Now, of course, on the highway, that is not necessary. I feel personally, there is these put out too much light. And I just, so it's like a compromise. What are you gonna use these lights for? Are you gonna use them for driving on a highway for when you've got an open section, you want more light? Or are you gonna use them in the bush? So for me personally, uh, with the dimmable switch, they're acceptable on the highway. In the bush, not enough light. Not enough light for me. Okay, guys, I think I'll leave it there. As I said, with my opinion, I, I love the lights. I think they're really good. I think they're worth the money. Uh, a little bit more light in the bush, plenty of light on the highway, but of course, it's up to you if you're choosing that. I believe, as I'm talking to you right now, ARB have released an updated version of these lights with, I believe, a digital controller. If I have an image, I'll put it up now. Um, so that could be the next generation. There could be improvements. But I just wanted to go over the lights that I'm running currently at this moment. And I don't think I would upgrade even if they released a super duper version in the future because I am happy with what they're doing so far. Okay, I'm Peter from Team Low Range 4x4. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I've got a secret reveal, which is not a secret. I was running a Dominator X, Venture Kings, of course, winch. And now I'm running a brand new Warn. 10s a future video on that and why i've switched coming up so there's more to look forward to all right i'll catch you in the next one